Dr. K, and today we're going to be inserting some hormone pellets into one of my patients. Um, we're going to be implanting testosterone and estradiol to treat menopausal symptoms, and uh, we're going to get started now. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is mark the location where we're going to insert the pellets. Pellets can be inserted in many different locations, but most women find it most comfortable on the hip area. Frequently in men will put the pellets on the flank because they tend to have more um, fat there to uh, hold the pellet. Women carry their fat on their hips, it's just the female shape, so it's easier to put the pellets on, a, on the hip in, in a woman. Giving a little anesthetic, a little pinch. That's it. So those were regular gloves. These are the sterile gloves. And we're going to drop our lidocaine and our beta methasone. So beta methasone is a good anti-inflammatory. I'll mix that with the lidocaine. It helps uh, avoid any redness or inflammation from the pellets. And we're sterilizing the skin with the betadine. So that's our sterile field. And we're going to add a little more anesthetic. So Gianna is getting the pellets ready for me. And they're already in the tray. And the estrogen, as you can see, is extremely small. Make a little nick in the skin. And insert the guide. And the pellets go in. And that's it. Now we just put the dressing on. Simple and convenient. That's the beauty of the pellets. Come in three times a year and the rest of the time your life is easy. And that's how we leave the dressing which will come off in a couple days. Mm -hmm.